place the palm springs follies that keeps those memories alive even at the average age of jersey called w f m u a station legendary for its innovative free form programming of odd and interesting music from the past and present what you might not know is that the w f m u d j s have been busy digging up buried treasure not only on vinyl but on celluloid too Ah, we're wrapping up this program with Four Piece Suit from their album Matinee Idols. Jimmy Durante was in there with the day I read a book, and Kid Loco followed Jimmy Durante. Irwin here, stay tuned for incorrect music. WFMU East Orange, WXHD, Mount Hope. Welcome to Incorrect Music. So this is a uh, special split screen edition of Incorrect Music. And uh, we'll launch it with a, a visually and musically appealing little number, Cecil Dill and his singing hands. such a thing as the opposite of being cool. That's what these artists are. They don't know from cool. Cool was never an option. Cool wasn't something they considered and decided wasn't them. These people are in another, on another plane of existence where cool is not a fact. Well, I suppose you wonder how that I did keep my musical instrument in practice when I was on the farm. Well, that was simply, very simple. Just by milking 10 cows morning and night, I could keep my musical instrument in practice and also keep it nice and limber. We have um, Reverend Alicia with her song, Yahweh, Your Wisdom Lets Me Walk in the Light, taken from her public access television program. You know, at first, when I saw Reverend Alicia, I was um, uplifted because I thought, here was a woman who couldn't walk. She, she's, sitting, she's sitting in a chair, and she's able to lift up her voice and sing because she's filled with the spirit of Yahweh. And um, then after I saw the second clip, I realized, no, she can walk. She's fine. But she just likes to sit in an office chair and spin around. My God, your wisdom lets me walk in the light, Many of the performers who we play on incorrect music, they're, they're like folk artists. They're not classically trained. And there's something very refreshing about their work because of that, that fact. They're not re popular recording artists. And that in and of itself bespeaks of, of an art form. They're probably not making a lot of money with their music. They probably never will. You be good, I love you to the end. And you will have a lover you can count on. Talk about the bully bull bull. Talk about the Taurus. Talk about the bully bull bull. We're not just anthropologists, which is the hats we wear when we're searching for outsider type artists. We're also archaeologists. And we like digging through the past because you can find old musical film clips from, let's say, Soundies, which were the 1940s counterparts of MTV music videos. <laughs> to making these soundies was to get the audience. You had to get the audience very quickly. So something like mail order opens up with a uh, fellow uh, in a suit and within the next shot there's going to be a gorgeous young woman. Of course with mail order he gets to choose between which young woman he'd like to to have as his own. Where the mail order means you ordered by parcel post we come to you Keep the one that you like best, and then return the rest. For any one of us will bring a thrill from you. There's one soundie entitled Playmates, which features oh, uh, voluptuous <laughs> young women dressed as, as prepubescent schoolgirls. 
So you have the pedophilia and you also have the sexism all thrown in this delicious package which could offend just about anybody that we could show it to, and, and we do. And Playmates is, ju is just full of spread shots. It's just these little girls with their legs spread apart, showing their panties, and, and proud of it. Ain't got no rain bell, ain't got no cellar door, but we'll be jolly friends forevermore. Every week after the show, in case you're ever wondering where Michelle and I come across this stuff, every week we bring rubber gloves, yes. and yes. after the show, we go out and um, plow through, yeah, yeah, through dumpsters, anywhere. One of the types of, of films that we've discovered is an amazing uh, series of musicals in which PETA would be up in arms about. Particularly, there was a whole series <laughs> of these films called Barkies. I love you. In, in our archaeology, we've, we've rediscovered some artists who have been sadly overlooked, one of them being Betty Hutton. She did a, a sequence in a Vitaphone short around 1940 when I think she was 16 years old with the Vincent Lopez Orchestra. And talk about over the top. I thought that she was sleeping, cause the sand comes to the floor. I didn't hear a single sound and I ain't gonna do it no more. She was called the blonde bombshell. This is a woman who was seriously, seriously disturbed. No restraint whatsoever as she sings this number, howls and shrieks her way through this number. Way Billy. <laughs> Way Billy. Come on, she kicked the bucket. Way Billy. He kicked the bucket and opened Moses said. Not only is she um, primitive in a certain way, she beats up members of the band who seem genuinely frightened of her. What we're doing is really landmark preservation. These people will never be publicly acclaimed on a mainstream level. We know that. We're, there are people who have fallen in between the cracks, and that's where we go looking for this material. That's where we find it. And uh, anytime we can pluck something from the scrap heap of history that we know doesn't belong there, we know we've accomplished our mission. That's it for our spring 1999 split screen season. Christmas great documentary American movie is opening here at the film.